Hey, Holly Boyd here, your Christian professional organizer, author, and speaker, and I'm coming to you late at night while everyone's sleeping because like all the other work-at-home moms, it is impossible to get anything done through the day. I made a lot of the Holly's habitudes before they got out of school, anticipating never being able to do this. But I'm running low, so I thought, hey, if I want it bad enough, and I do, I'll get up at midnight and do it. It's a choice I make, and we're going to talk about choices just for a few minutes because I think the louder I talk, the more chance I have of waking up the kids, and we don't want that to happen. So we're going to talk about organizing life just quickly because I'm really, really tired. The choices you make absolutely affect your tomorrow. For instance, here's something easy to follow because we've all done it. Organizing is a choice. You come in and you put your car keys in a different spot every single time you come in. I swear you're sowing a seed where you're going to get a harvest of frustration later. You will lose your keys, right? If you come in with the bells and you're not sure where to put them, you just put them down here for now because you're going to get to them later, but you don't. It's a choice you make, and a choice is you're going to get a phone call from Visa later and you're going to make higher payments on that credit card. So these are the choices that we make that affect our life. But I want to talk about something deeper. 80 to 90 percent of Americans are seeing a physician due to a stress-related illness. Everything in your home needs a home. Clutter kills. The Bible tells us all about that. It's called sowing and reaping. Every time you put your car keys where they don't go, you're reaping a harvest later. When you put your mail down, you're reaping a harvest later. You are choosing long before you happen. And if we stop and think about that, then we won't do it so often. We'll live life more on purpose. We'll do things purposefully. That is the difference between somebody who's organized and somebody who's scattered. Okay, that's all because I'm tired and I don't want to wake up my kids. I will find bright. That is so true. Less mess, less stress. God bless.